And welcome back to Stanny Boy Reviews. I'm your host, Stanley. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out my channel where I like to talk about Scream movies. Yes, Scream movies. Dude, we have not talked about Scream since the beginning of Stanny Boy Reviews. The first Scream was my second review, and that was when I was a baby YouTube channel. Today, if you haven't guessed, we are going to talk about the long-awaited Scream 6. <sighs> I couldn't be happier. So go grab your hunting knives, go grab your voice modulators, go grab your best motives, go grab your favorite t-shirts, go grab your hats, go grab your posters, go grab everything. I'm already seated, go have a seat, and let's get on the scariest subway since Jason took Vancouver, or Manhattan. <laughs> let's do it. Ah! Ah! Scream 6, baby. Who would have thought we would have made it this far? I mean, this isn't Children of the Corn. You know what I mean? This is Scream. Scream was technically supposed to stop at part three. We weren't even supposed to get Scream 4 back in 2011. And after that one came and went, and I say that with all the love of my heart, it would be another decade before Scream 5 or 5 Cream or simply Scream would slice its way onto the big screens across America, amping the horror community up once again and leaving us wanting more of the world of Woodsboro. But just like Scream 5 or 5 Cream or Scream would break new ground in a slew of wonderful ways, the creators knew that they would have to do things a little bit differently if they wanted to keep the franchise fresh and bloody. And we'll get there. Kevin Williamson, the writer of Scream 1, 2, and most of Scream 4, and the executive producer of last year's Scream, whatever you want to call it at this point, I'm just going to call it Scream 5 for my own sanity, had always had a vision after the original trilogy, assuming that Scream 4 did well at the box office, which it did not, unfortunately. This is why it took so long for Scream 5 to see the light of day, and this is why we had to suffer through a Scream television series. I don't have a lot to say, except the second season was actually okay. Call me nuts. So when Scream 5 was a smash all over the world. It only made sense to greenlight a sixth installment immediately. In May of 2022, Melissa Barrera, Jasmine Savoy Brown, Mason Gooding, and Jenna Ortega would all sign on to reprise their roles. A month later, Courtney Cox confirmed that she would be coming back as Gail because of course, but also that same month, Nev Campbell would confirm that she would not be returning as Sydney Prescott. And that's another blog in itself. We will not get into it. I will say this much though. This is Nev Campbell's franchise. If you are not willing to pay the face of this franchise what she deserves, I don't know. I don't know what to say. That was it. She would not be returning. I will say this also. I met Nev Campbell at a convention last year. I had a conversation with her. She signed a VHS. And I did ask her what she could tell me about the forthcoming sixth installment. And this was the day before conference of her not returning was to be announced. So she already knew that she wasn't gonna be coming back. And when I asked her what she could tell me, she said, it's going to be a lot of fun, I'm sure. <laughs> so when I heard shortly after that she wasn't going to be involved, my expectations kind of died a little, just like my soul died a little bit, because again, without Sydney, it's hard to imagine a Scream film. Don't f with the original. Die-hard Scream fans know. And even when these movies are not completely up to par, cough, Scream 3, cough, there is no such thing as a bad Scream movie. And then we all found out that it was going to be taking place in New York, getting the old Jason 8 treatment. Respect, they were going in different directions. And we also discovered at one point that Kirby Reed, played by Hayden Panettiere, would be coming back as well. And everyone was losing their over it, rightfully so. Things were looking up for Scream 6. Radio silence, no fan service. They did us right with Scream 5 and we were in good hands. It's safe to say that we were going to get something different and more than likely something good. Whether we were ready or not, get it? <laughs> So filming took place over the summer of 2022 with a budget of 33 to 35 million. Oh, and since its release, it has received a 76% on Rotten Tomatoes and on Metacritic, we're looking at a 61 out of 100 and CinemaScore gave it a B plus, which is exactly what they gave Scream 2, which most critics considered the best sequel. And I should also mention that since it opened just last week, it's made a worldwide total of $70.7 .7 million. <laughs> That's insane. That's crazy. For a sixth installment in a franchise. Bonkers. Anyway, let's get into it. <laughs> 
Scream 6 picks up just a year after Scream 5 ended. Our surviving cast, sisters Tara and Sam, and twins Mindy and Chad, have relocated to New York to attend college and to recoup from all the trauma they all experienced together in Woodsboro. They just want to move on. And if we've learned anything from the Stab movies, you can do that. You just have to, you know, go to college because Ghostface doesn't follow you to college. What the core four don't know, by the way, I love that they end up with the name the core four. I think it's so adorable. What they find out very quickly is Ghostface has followed them to New York and is eager to dispatch anyone that stands in his or her or their way to get to them. And that's what's up, because yo, if you thought the last Scream entry was graphic and bloody or any of the previous entries were violent, buckle the <laughs> up, because Scream 6 is easily the bloodiest, most violent of the entire series. Ghostface is not <laughs> around this time. This movie starts at a 10 and stays at a 10 and just goes up until the end. I was yelling, oh <laughs> We're introduced to a slew of new characters. Mindy has a girlfriend this time around named Annika. <laughs> Tara and Sam have a roommate named Quinn. She has a dad who is a cop. Chad has a roommate and a best friend named Ethan. Sam is also kind of banging it out with the guy who lives across the building from them named Danny. Also the eye candy of the film, whoo, super hot. And of course we have returning faces. We have Gail. Hello. And fan favorite, Kirby Reed, who is now a special agent working for the FBI specializing in ghost face killings. All of these faces, new and old, are welcome additions because we know a lot of them are simply put here for Ghostface to slash the up. So yes, once the core four realize that they are being hunted again, they must band together and figure out who it is that's doing this before Ghostface or Ghostfaces <laughs> puts an end to them. We execute them. You guys, I loved this movie. My one qualm with Scream 5 was the way that the killer or killers, depending if you've seen the movie or not, which at this point I really hope you have, I think that the killer reveal was a little lazy. And I will say the same thing with this movie. I think that that was probably my biggest gripe, but seeing it a second time, it didn't bother me. I caught things prior and I loved it even more the second time around. I loved the way the directors utilized the grimy New York settings, even though Jason takes Manhattan. I loved the writing without Kevin Williamson writing it. It still feels like Scream. And I loved the opening and how, once again, it flipped the script. It was unexpected and surprising and had me gasping. And I was like, if this is what we have to look forward to for however many more screams we get, I am all the f in. Sign my ass up. It just gives me hope. We're not safe and that makes me so happy. And you know, I thought I was going to have issues with the absence of Sydney Prescott. As much as I missed her, her absence was explained perfectly and in an appropriate way to where it made me feel like the right Writers are protective of her and still care about her. She could very well pop up again in Scream 7. Do not f around with Sydney Prescott. Pay the woman. Pay her, pay her, pay her. Just like Shudder needs to pay me money. What are you thinking? Give her all the money that she wants. I was honestly on the edge of my seat the entire time for this film. I'm on the edge of my seat right now, just talking about it. <laughs> Scream is a franchise that I have never lost faith in. I've never gone into a Scream film scared that it's going to be bad. Scream 6, once again, sincerely cemented that faith. We're in good hands with Radio Silence. We can only go up from here. This is a movie that you want to see with a group of friends who adore this franchise as much as you do. And I am so blessed and lucky that I got to do that on opening night with a group of people that I love. I just love my friends so much. So, duh, quite obviously on Stanny Stabometer, Five bloody mother <laughs> stabs. <laughs> I asked my friends the next day to rank the series in order from their favorite to least favorite. And for me, they're all just equal opportunity. Of course, it would be Scream 1. And then, you know, everyone after is just as good. As much as Scream 3 is probably the least successful entry in the series, I watch that one so much. So I don't know. I can't rank them. I won't do it. Anyway, what did you think, guys? Have you seen Scream 6 yet? Do you plan to watch Scream 6? 
you should watch Scream 6. Go watch it twice, thrice, four times. Let me know what you think in the comments. Try to refrain from spoiling. I know it's hard. Let it be a surprise. I am so happy I went into this blind and that I stayed away from spoilers. It made it that much better for me. Just keep that kind of stuff to yourself. Don't forget, I am on social media. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Instagram. And you can find me on TikTok. And do not forget to subscribe. And also, I have surpassed my 300 subscriber milestone. I owe that to Brandon Morgan. Thank you so much, Brandon, for being my 300th subscriber. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate all of you watching. Share this, like this. Have a great week. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye. <laughs>